It's a long church. Oh! Look, look what I did. I freaked out so much. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Why are you? It's not that bad, dude. <laughs> it's a horrible gun. Steady cam, steady cam. Hey, Daniel. Hey. So, Daniel and I are actually at the range together for the first time in like two months. Yeah. In video that actually is going up because we got a couple of things there. You would have seen the AR 15. But uh, you want to grab that shotgun and carry it out in the sun, we'll take a look at it. Yep. A buddy of ours, who does some Cerakote work, took this shotgun, which was in horrendous shape. It was found in a barn. Yeah, it was found in a barn. It was totally rusted and all that stuff, and he actually redid it. And it's actually a very dark tung tungsten and black, and I think it came out came out pretty damn nice. Yeah, they did that in black and that in tungsten. Yeah. I mean, you almost can't tell, though, because... Yeah, it's so dark that when you see it in real life, it might show up better on the camera. I'm in the sun right now, so I'll see how it looks in the camera. But, yeah, he took it apart, did the whole job for him. So It was all covered in rust. Yeah, yeah, he had to sand down things and he take material off. Cut down the barrel to 18 and a half. Yep, so that's the long, uh, shortest legal you can have it and still be a shotgun. So, yep. yeah, we wanted to say, hey, thanks to the dude that did it, uh, Mr. K., Oh, I have forgot to ask if I can put his name in here or not. But yeah, he did an awesome job. And yep. uh, he actually owns my old PT-92, which you can see in that video up there. But we wanted to go ahead and uh, show that off. And Daniel's going to be testing it today with some mini shells for home defense. So, But as I said, today we're running some stuff. We've got my Zastava M70A, which will be firing 100 rounds of... Fiocchi. Normally I bring Blazer, but I forgot to buy some, and I got this Fiocchi with the gun when I bought it, so we're going to run that. We're going to run some two and three quarter inch shells through his shotgun, and then we are going to run about 120 rounds through my AR, so we're going to get to loading. Uh, I like to take a little while, that way it makes Daniel load everything, but I think he's finally caught on to that. Have you figured out I just used you as a loading monkey? No. No? That doesn't bother you yet? Nope. Anyways. Yeah, well that is true. We're using two of his magazines and one of the store's magazines because I actually forgot the magazine the gun comes with. At the store, because I'm an idiot. So We have 120 rounds and only three magazines, so we're going to have one reload. And we're probably going to wind up burning about a half a mag trying to sight this thing in. So, But don't forget to go to libertyarms.us and use the online store. Check that out. Use my discount code, Jiminy, J-I-M-M-I-N-I, -M -M -I, and you can buy stuff on there and get 5% off at checkout, and that will help the channel grow, and it will help the business grow, and then I can get more guns, and we can do more fun videos like this. In case you haven't noticed, I talk the most. And I was quiet most of the ride here, so my voice is okay. The main reason why Daniel and I are on the rifle range today is because this is something that came into the shop on trade, local trade, and it's something that uh, we both are very interested in shooting because we've never seen one in person before or shot one ourselves, and it's uh, the Ruger Precision chambered in 308. And yeah, I know I walked in front of it. I'm tired of you mother father saying stuff about that. Yeah, I knew it the, was empty. This was open anyways. Yeah. But anyways, chambered in 308. The main thing he did was he swapped out the pistol grip because the stock pistol grip is a really hard piece of plastic. But otherwise, this gun appears to be factory. It's so. a uh, not inexpensive gun, I'll tell you that much. Pretty cool. Bolt action, box fed, folding stock, and 10-round uh, capacity or 20? 10. 10-round capacity. So we're going to be shooting that too. And as you can see, it's not a bad range except it goes uphill so when you're shooting for distance you're actually going uphill but actually I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the 308 first because we actually have to share the optics with the AR-15 and I'd rather do it with this one first because it's gonna fire less rounds so that target is 25 yards from us and we're just gonna be shooting the 308 Daniel and I are not going to be shooting for precision here even though it is a Ruger precision 
we're mostly just shooting it because we've never shot one before. And we just want to be able to say we've shot a Ruger. Yep. That way we can tell customers. Because we want to have some more experiences so that when you guys come into the store, we can go, yeah, we fired that thing. It shoots beautifully. Or, no, it's a Kiapa. But anyways, so Daniel's got the red dot on there. And we're just going to red dot it because we're only 25 yards. And uh, hopefully he can get it sighted in. It shouldn't be dead. I made sure it was off. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to be very loud, guys. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, doesn't damage any of the audio but we should be fine he's wearing ears and over ears I just have plugs in so I'm gonna be Woo! ready yeah that looks high that was what that looked high so now you're over to the left I think it's the uh it's got to be the red dot. Huh? Can I send one and see what it does for me? Yeah. All right. You loaded one in it? No, the bolt's back. Okay. Ready? Yep. It doesn't kick anything like you think it will. It's not bad at all, so right. don't worry about that. Going hot. Yep. Trigger's light too. Bolts open, sound safe. That's it. Yeah. We'll save the rest for Matt. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we hit anything. Yeah, let's go down and see what you did. Now you have to understand guys, we just used a red dot and a magnifier that weren't ready sighted in and the red dot is actually a little bit loose because it's supposed to be tight on the AR and the 1911 or the 1913 rail on that Ruger must be slightly thinner. One. Yeah. I was aiming here. Yeah, when I did it offhand I aimed here. But so. the thing is we're not even seeing holes so they must be going off now. Yep. Oh well. That's all right, Fuck. we'll do the AR. Yeah. I almost punch. said the F-bomb, anyway. but you know. Just to see what it was like. Yep. So what did you think of it though? If you I could like get it. a good optic for it, it'd probably be a really nice shooter. Oh, uh, it'd be a really nice shooter. Yeah. As it is, offhand with steel sights would have been easier. I can see why it's uh, so much money. Yeah. But not at Liberty Arms. Come visit us in Harrisonburg. It's on sale. I've never shot this gun before, and I get to be the first one, so we're going to use 5.56 five, American Eagle, uh, or Federal American Eagle ammo, and I'm going to try to see if I can put it on paper, which isn't going to happen. What a shitty eye relief. Going hot. All right. All right, just want to go see what it did. Going hot. Yep. On safe. That one might be off. I flinched. Safe. Did you flinch the first one? Yeah. First one might be off. That's why I sent three. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that this is what it takes to sight in a rifle. You shoot, you go down, you shoot, you go down. Now technically we should have brought binoculars or a spotting scope, but... But for just some cheap optics, it's actually doing okay. Actually, the optics aren't that cheap. Well, that's true. For miles. not Vortec or EOTech, they're not bad. That is true, because they actually are decent. Ready? Mm-hmm. Going hot. Safe. Once more, shall we? But we're almost there. So we need to go up one? Yeah, up one. Left to right, we're dead center. Now I'm just a touch low. And if this doesn't correct, then you just hold at the very top of the bullseye. But I don't want to get super nitpicky today. I will say the gun is functioning great though. Right? 
Yeah, I just took a breath in right when the powder came back or the smoke. Uh oh. We're gonna finish this one off and then he's gonna we're gonna put up targets. He's gonna run a mag and then I'll run a mag, then he'll run a mag and then we'll run a mile. We are clear and on safe. So let's go down and see what Daniel uh, helped me do. I almost said Daniel and I, but uh, we haven't done nothing yet. So yeah, that was the upper right group. And when I said that one's going to be off, that was the one I was talking about. I'm going to leave the camera down here for the next set. Okay. We'll just get some shots of this and then I'll uh, shoot off my phone. That was about it for today. That's an awesome rifle. It's a Diamondback. If you haven't shot one, you should probably shoot one. The reason I went with the Diamondback over the SIG is because, quite frankly, the cost of this rifle and the optics is the same as the cost of the SIG. And for a first-time AR owner, it's not going to matter to me. So I'll be doing some upgrades to this as time goes on. Daniel's going to help me, and we'll yep. bring it back out and see how the upgrades help or hurt the gun. And uh, we'll take it from there. Any parting words of wisdom? Nope. No? No, Remember we're pretty good stay there. stay safe. Uh, this is a very popular brand, as I've said. We carry it at the store. Go to libertyarms.us and uh, click on the link there. Don't forget to use the Amazon affiliate link. And we're going to get out of here and shoot some pistols. So, yep. until next time. So, in typical me fashion, I managed to delete all the footage from the phone of which I was filming Daniel shooting, as well as some low down me shooting the rifle from the table. And for some reason, it didn't save any of that footage to the cloud, so now that footage no longer exists. So, the end of this video is quite truncated. I do apologize. Number two, sold the rifle as soon as we got it back to the store. So... My thing is I will never take money away from the store. I would rather them make profit so that I can use other stuff in the future. It is the way it is, but when you're trying to support your local businesses and places that you're trying to help get going, uh, it doesn't make sense to take their profit. So we wound up going back and I wound up just letting them have the gun back and we sold it in the store and AR-15s are easy to pick up right now, so I'll just pick up another one at some point. Overall opinion though, I really like the Diamondback stuff. I think it's a good pistol, or excuse me, I keep saying pistol because I was playing with a Saint pistol earlier. It's a very good rifle, and if you are a beginning shooter and you want to check them out, you can get them for 550, 580, somewhere in that general vicinity. Again, I know you internet warriors are going to go, no, it's a $300 gun. No, it's an $800 gun. Don't care. Somewhere between three and nine thousand dollars. Three hundred to nine thousand dollars is the price range on that rifle. Start looking. So as a entry entry level AR-15, it does really well. And there are some that are cheaper. There are a lot that are more expensive. I think for a beginning shooter with the AR platform, it would be a good one. So check it out. You can again use the links down below. You can just kind of give us a call by Googling the store, Liberty Arms in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of that rifle. If you've owned one, if you've put a bunch of rounds through one, because again, I'm probably just going to replace it with the same rifle. I am going to be working on a couple of other videos that should be coming out over the next week or so. Again, Mondays and Fridays are the gun videos. I'm going to start doing other videos during the week, such as video game pickups, again, as well as tech, because I feel I'm getting a little bit away from that, and I want to get back into that more. So, give me a thumbs up, share the video, like the video, tell all your friends about the video, and, as always, I'll talk to you later.